What's a contact photo? It's a photo like this that people will see when you call them. So you get to control the photo that ends up on your friend's iPhone. Now this is really handy for someone like me. I suffer from a condition called aphantasia. That means I don't have a mind's eye. I have no visual memory. So the chances are, if I've met you before, that I won't recognize you when I see you again. So this would help me if you took the time to add your own photo to your iPhone. So when you call me, I can see who you are. So let's see how easy this is to do. Open up your contacts app. And when you open up your contacts app, you're looking for your record, which should be the one at the very top here that says my card. Now, if you can't find your contacts app, you can open up your phone app and touch on the middle there where it says contacts. And again, at the very top, my card is your card. It's your name appearing there at the top. It's the same app doing the same thing. So we'll touch on your name and you will no doubt see this gray area up the top with initials and your name. So you can tap here where it says contact photo and poster, touch there. It's going to present the card it will share with other people. Now here it says edit. At the moment, it's just going to share CD. Well, we don't want to share just CD, do we? So let's hit edit and then touch customize and we want to customize the poster. Okay, so tap on poster. Now you could send the initials. I find that quite pointless. You could do a Memoji if you don't want to send an actual photo of you, but I think most people would prefer to receive a photo. Now, when you touch on the photos tab, it will make suggestions for you. It's going to look in your photo album and suggest photos of you to share. Now, if you're not happy with those photos, you could touch here on albums and search in any of your albums or you could just touch here on all and see all of your photos or even search here in this search field. But I do like this photo that has been presented. So I'm going to tap on this first record. Now this to me is far too close. So I'm going to take my fingers and pinch back and just have my head below the name. So there we go, we've got my shoulders and I'm quite happy with the photo. No right or wrong, you do what you like. But what you can do here is swipe from right to left and see different effects that you can apply. Select the option that you prefer. So I'm going to touch here on this background. Do I like this one? Maybe if I touch here and darken the background, I like that better. There we go. So if you want to change it to any color, you can touch on the little color wheel here and pick any color you like to put in the background. And of course, you don't even need to change the background if you're quite happy with that you can just select the very first option, that natural options. But I'm going to run here with that darker photo. Now, if you wanna change the font at the top here, you can touch on your name, you can play around with the different fonts that are available here at the top, and you can make it larger or smaller. You could change the color of the text here. We could make it kind of this rainbow color or select any other color. Or getting to the very end, you can touch on this color wheel and change that to any of the colors that are available in Apple's palette. Now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to touch on the word done in the top right corner. It's now presenting this image. That's what's going to pop up on your phone. When I call, I'll hit continue. And this is a headshot, but it's going to be quite small. I'm going to touch here on crop and zoom in a bit. So when you see those small images in messages, that's what this is. I'll hit choose and then I will hit done and then tap here on continue. And so now that that has been selected, it's moving between these different options. And yes, I'm happy with that. So I'm now just going to touch on back and there you go. It's now ready to send to the cloud and then go to your friend's devices when you call so that they'll see those images that look like this when you are ringing. Now you can have more than one photo. You can chop and change. If you choose to, you could go back into your contact card here. You could touch on edit and touch here on edit again and slide over and create a new one. So you could have multiple photos depending on your mood. You could be not making up your mind on which one you want. So you could select another photo to put here 
I could just slide and look at that, it removes the background. I mean, that's a pretty good background anyway, but look at how clever that is. That's nice and clean. So I can hit done and go through that process again, hit continue. I won't crop this time, I'll hit continue again. And now I've got those two options and I can change them at any time. I can come into this contact poster, hit edit and swipe between those different choices. And you need to give it just a, a little bit of time to synchronize with iCloud. Okay, what I'd love for you to do, as I mentioned, I have aphantasia. I don't recognize people when I see them again. You can share this contact card right now. And if you do so, I'll send you another free tip. Let me show you how easy it is to share this card. I've got my contact open. I'll tap here on share contact. And you can select the fields that you want to share with me or any of your friends and then hit done. And then it pops up ready to send in a message or mail. Touch on messages and type here colin at the ipadman.com and then hit the send button and that will send it to me or alternatively you can touch mail colin at the ipadman.com again and you can send this in an email and i will get a copy of your contact card with your photo which i can add to my contacts i will send you a free tip just for doing that so there you go do you like the contact card 